and welcome to a new edition of U News, where you get U News. Our top story tonight brings us one step closer to living the nightmare of a Black Mirror episode. An implantable microchip for spending called Bitchip recently added support for Ripple Labs coin XRP. This is great news for all Ripple holders who accumulate XRP while spouting a collective distrust in the government and swearing the One World Order will implement things like the Mark of the Beast. Bitchip had support for Ethereum, but recently added XRP to expand its market. Bitchip is rumored to be at... What? What do you mean it's pronounced by chip? No, look at the spelling. It's bitchip, because you'd have to be a bitch to want to implant a tracking device in your body for a crypto that you can't even trade in the U.S. right now. God save the crypto queen, or at least I hope God saves you little degenerates at comfy seat on the way to hell. Queen Elizabeth II's passing was announced last week, and within hours, at least 40 different Queen Elizabeth meme coins and NFTs had been launched, and were up hundreds of percent. The token's names ranged from Save the Queen, RIP Queen Elizabeth, Queen Doge, and more along the same vein. Y'all don't miss a moment, do you? The token's creations were largely condemned by the crypto community, which was totally obvious by the fact that several of them catapulted over 20,000% in price and had over $700,000 in trading volume. Yeah, I can tell you left that one alone and were horrified by the way that you refused to buy in. Wanna play a game? Celsius, the bankrupt crypto lender and its CEO who is somehow still walking around freely, recently released a Celsius-themed Monopoly game that they said had been months and months in the works. To salt the wound, the Celsiusopoly game has a tagline under the title saying, quote, do good, then do well, end quote. A reference to its founder's tweet before the company went tits up. Unsurprisingly, the crypto community absolutely dragged the release of the game online. The board game retails for $99 and comes with the Celsius-themed game board, box, play money, with the themed cards for rewards and interest, property, customer care, compliance loan, and the development cards with an instruction manual and a dice. You'll probably be better off playing games with the puppet from Saw than spending a Benjamin on this board game of bullshit, though, especially since there seems to be more rules and consequences for the board game than there was for Celsius losing $4.7 billion. Ironically, the game probably has a go-to-jail space on the board. Over on a dark desert highway, Charles Hoskinson, the founder of Cardano, tweeted his criticism of Ethereum's merge with ETH2 by tweeting, quote, Ethereum is becoming the Hotel California of crypto, end quote. The reference was to the lack of tradable liquid ETH2 available and the line in the famous Eagles song that says, you can check out any time you like, but you can never leave. That's a pretty bold claim from a project that some would call the Theranos of blockchains. I swear if one more person tells me how great ADA is, they're going to need ADA access out of my immediate vicinity. Seriously, if we're handing out Eagles lyrics for crypto projects, I'd like to add Lion Eyes and Already Gone to the list of poetic contenders. Our last story is about a token the holders actually hope goes tits up. A fairly new token named Mommy Milkers was recently launched on the Binance Smart Chain, attracting attention the same way college dropouts on Instagram do, with their cleavage. The Discord for Mommy Milkers is filled with too many gifts of not safe for work chesticles, and there is a growing debate about the project's utility. As a biological recipient of my own milkers, I can tell you that they have been useful in a variety of situations. Milkers have also been utilized by bad actors to rug men's wallets since they appeared, and holding mommy milkers may spark joy, but I would recommend being the developer instead. That's all for this week's edition of You News, where you get totally unnecessary, useless news. I'm Tupac's of course, and I'll see you next week.